Hi, Father Brad here, December 18th, 2020. You know what? I don't have any photos for you today. Uh, I was kind of rather other occupied this week uh, with a cataract removal. And so I, I just didn't get, I just realized that I didn't get uh, any uh, thing ready to show you from all of my scanning projects. Uh, however, I remember, maybe I'll do this next time then, um, <clears throat> I remember that we had a photo in front of the Christmas tree one year and all of us kids had matching pajamas and they were red and white stripes and I'm thinking that if I look at them if I well of course this was in black and white but if I was looking at a color picture of red and white stripes I just don't know if it would just look like solid pink or not <laughs> because my my eyesight is so uh, still kind of getting back to normal on on one side and as usual on the other and they're kind of competing for attention. So uh, as I read some things this morning, um, if I just look, look a little deep, it's just because I'm trying to see what's in front of me, but I haven't. The, the surgery was very successful and I haven't walked into any walls. But if you see me heading toward a wall like this weekend or, or toward Christmas, just gently kind of, re, you know, take me by the shoulders and then just push me <laughs> in the right direction. So um, as we approach Christmas, I just wanted to reiterate um, some of the scheduling things. Uh, the Christmas masses are again on Christmas Eve at 3 p.m. at All Saints at 6.30 p.m. at Sacred Heart in Lapway, at 7 p.m. at All Saints, midnight at All Saints, and then Christmas Day at 9 a.m. at All Saints. And, uh, you know, save somebody who, who might want to call to see when Midnight Mass starts. It actually starts at midnight, but these days you kind of have to check because sometimes they have it at different times other than midnight, but ours is midnight. And then uh, for the uh, uh, extended uh, or extra Advent penance, penance uh, times, we have two of them left. One is that on Saturday, December 19th, uh, we're just extending the normal time. So Father Nathan and I will be here from 2 p.m. Uh, and then to 4.30. And then on Tuesday evening of next week, December 22, we'll both be here from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, for those of you who um, uh, take advantage of adoration, and I encourage everybody to do that, uh, there, there will be some days that it will be different than the normal schedule, and that would be there, there won't be any adoration um, uh, all day on December 24th and 25th, and December 31st, New Year's Eve. And then the other different day, other than the normal schedule, would be on um, uh, the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, which would be on January 1st then, 2021. Uh, the adoration will begin after the 11 a.m. Mass that day, and that will go through the day and overnight to the first Saturday Mass uh, of the month on uh, January 2nd at 9 a.m. I just want to uh, let everybody know my appreciation and, and just thank you for your generosity on the All Saints Giving Tree. This is a very generous community and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the uh, I guess the little ornaments that, that said what the need would be for a, a gift uh, actually were taken quite quickly and gifts returned very quickly and uh, just want you to know that that's uh, really a beautiful thing for this time of year and uh, it's greatly appreciated by me uh, and by the parish but also certainly by the people who get these nice uh, gifts. They're, they're the, the ones that are left look like they're very very nice. I also want to thank you uh, once more as we progress on our increased offertory program. 
uh, we've had a wonderful response, and so I wanted to thank you for that as well. That's our program, Encounter Christ, um, cast out into the deep. Uh, so thank you so much for those of you who have responded, and, and then again for those of you who haven't had the opportunity, uh, please uh, do so as you are able. Among other things on that, um, such as uh, so solidly launching our expected long-range maintenance fund, because they're, you know, in this very expensive, beautiful building, um, we're, we're going to incur costs just to keep it uh, uh, up to snuff, and so we're, uh, uh, we've started a fund uh, for that, but we need to get that uh, padded because everything that we do for maintenance, uh, you know, it's a little chunk of change. So in addition to all the practical stuff like that, I just wanted to mention, especially at this time of year, that increased offertory allows us to revisit uh, the parish's monthly charitable contributions. Um, and we always uh, would see about if we can bump those up. Uh, the parish, just to remind you on a monthly basis, um, makes uh, 12 charitable contributions to local agencies who provide all manner of services. Uh, the Community Action Agency, the Community Food Bank, in addition to our food collection. Uh, Family Promise, Habitat for Humanity, Interlink, Life Choices Clinic, uh, Salvation Army, the Snake River Community Clinic, St. Vincent de Paul, the Willow Center, Reliance Ministries, and the YWCA. So um, these are something that uh, we're happy to uh, fund and, and help them just uh, keep their doors open and serving people. And uh, uh, we serve those people by you know, serving the agencies with our, uh, our, our donations and so we do that every month, and, and again, um, it's great to be able to bump that up if we're able to, so we'll be looking at that along with all the other practical things that come with keeping the, the parish going and as a beautiful uh, center for Christ to reside and for us to come and go um, worshiping and then taking him out into the world um, to serve others. I came across a, a really beautiful uh, quote from St. John Paul II uh, in regards to this time of year and the birth of Christ. just wanted to share that with you and then I also have some, something else for you today. So his quote is, God who creates the visible world is the giver and we are the one who receives the gift. We are the ones for whom God creates the visible world, the one whom God, right from the beginning, introduces not only the order of existence, but also to the order of giving. You know, uh, God makes all of this possible. So, I mean, we need to keep that linked into our consciousness on a daily basis. So. This is a, a, a really beautiful reminder, and of course, uh, uh, St. John Paul II uh, is very close to, to Christ these days, as we know, from, the, uh, uh, from his canonization uh, uh, to uh, sainthood, verifying his uh, spiritual status in the next life. So um, please keep that in mind. God is the first giver. God gives us all of this. Uh, we are the ones who receive it. And uh, so uh, we are the ones also then that would take our cue from God and also be givers to others. And then from uh, Insinu Jesu, again, the anonymous Benedictine monk in Ireland who was sharing with uh, the world his journal uh, that uh, a prayer during adoration time. And this is a, a little segment. Again, these are uh, uh, from the perspective of Christ talking to him. <clears throat> so it's in the, the person of Christ talking. 
And again, this has to do with adoration. Remain in my presence whenever and for as long as you can. Being with me is the greatest means to healing and to holiness. It is enough to remain with me if you be like me. Come to me full of expectant hope and I will do all the rest. To adore me is to seek my face and to approach my heart full of wonder and of holy fear and above all full of love. Adoration is the wordless confession of my divinity. Adoration proclaims that I am all and that all else is not. So those are very powerful uh, words. Um, the, the Blessed Sacrament Christ on the, the altar uh, is existence and being and again uh, Christ himself is describing that is a wordless confession of his divinity. We go to adore him and he just is and we are there before him as he is and, uh, and as he wishes to uh, pour his grace upon us and communicate with us. So another beautiful thing that, to take along in this time of Advent before Christmas as you have noticed in the Advent wreath, the light, the flames are growing, and this weekend we'll have uh, four candles aflame with the building of the light of Christ. Let me give you my blessing. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.